Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz. Now I recently did a video on saying that having a bad win rate doesn't necessarily make you a bad player. And that got me thinking, maybe I should show you a bit more. Um, so I just I picked these two games, both tier 10, both in American mediums. The first one, the M48 Pattern, and then the second one, the M60, which is a premium tank. Now, as I said in my previous video, and you can see my stats, they're all there to see, I'm not a fantastic player, but I do have experience. So I'm gonna break down my thought processes in these two games. Why have I gone this way on dead rail? Well, I looked at the team makeup, and when I looked at the team makeup, they have one medium, that little Leo, two TDs, and a shed load of heavies. So I know for a fact there's only gonna be one tank up here. He may have had support from the uh, the two TDs, but he hasn't. That's why I was a bit tentative to begin with. So we're going to take out this Leo and get rid of, firstly, their spotter, and secondly, the quickest tank that they've got. With the TDs not showing, I sort of know that either A, they're going to be by the rock near the spawn, or B, in the corner. That's the only place they can be. And lo and behold, there is one of them by the rock at the spawn. Which means the other one is in the camping site at the corner. And there he is. So I now know where both the TDs are. I'm not going to rush YOLO in. I'm a medium. And the way that I play mediums is basically you farm damage. And this is the thing about mediums. You use your spotting ability and your mobility to get around the battlefield, put yourself in a nice little spot and use the accurate gun. Now. Well, that Jagdpanzer Jag is completely bugged out because he knows that he's got problems. I'm going to come round this corner tentatively because there's a Jaegeru in the corner. There's the other Jaegeru. Not interested in him. I'm interested in that Kranwagen, which is why I'm putting shots in. Now, right next to me is a guy in a Progetto 65. I've switched the HE there to get it into this back deck. You can see the Progetto 65. He's doing exactly the same as me. He is doing a really fantastic job. He is farming the damage just like I am. Not interested in the Yeageru still, he's out of the picture, he's not pushing anywhere fast, the cranwagon has gone, the other Yeageru can't get shots onto me, that gives me clear farming onto their three heavies. And that's all I'm going to do here guys, I'm just going to farm their heavies. And with the Progetto, we're just going to whittle them down, I can't get shots into the Yo, the mouse has got his back to me, that is therefore easy farming. Now, look, yes, the stars aligned for me here. They only had one medium on their team. They had a shed load of heavies and two TDs. However, had that been different, had they have said three mediums, for example, then I wouldn't have gone the way that I went. I would have used the gun depression and its all down mobility, uh, ability to go to the ridge. However, making the decisions that you make out affect the outcome of the game. And the decisions that we made here was they got one medium. He's probably not going to go to the middle. He's probably going to go to where the sea cap is on supremacy. We can take him out and then we can get around the back of them. We know roughly where their TDs are going to be. I've used the hall down there. Bloody good tank, the M48 pattern. And I've just farmed effectively 4K damage. I'm only going to get a second class. I'm not setting the world on fire, but we're winning the game. And before you start saying, oh, but Fuji, they were a complete noob team. Actually, they weren't. If you check their stats, the two Yeageru players were very high, 60% win rate players with over 30,000 battles. So it can be done. Now I'm going to show you the M60. So here we are on Normandy. It's another medium tank, pretty much like the M48 pattern. Great haul down, to be honest with you. Got an interesting gun. So here we go, spotting and re-up. We're gonna now try and track the crown wagon, and we do. But we don't break them, we just make them critical. So we're giving him a bloody nose, telling him that, guy, oh, mate, you know, you're trying to move to your position, and you know, it's not a good idea. We're gonna, now he's been tracked, now we're gonna try and perma-track him, forcing him to use his repair kits. I can see from the mini-map, and I can see from my own eyes, that their heavies have gone up to where the C and the D cap is. That gives me impunity to put shots into that crown wagon. There's their TD, the Hori. Again, I'm going to try and track him. Don't get the track, but I critically injure him and his modules. I'm going to back away now, reset my camo, pop up and try and get a shot into the Hori, who is trying to jostle out of his position, get a nice shot into the side of the Hori, 
back to my hold down position, but I can see my Toon Mace is in trouble. Well, he's not because he's a good player. I'm now going to try and go down there and help him. Um, he's probably going to take out the Hori by the time I get there, which is fine. I'm doing the right thing. I'm trying to get down there to help him out. He's got a fast reload in the Hori. It takes a couple of shots from him though, but the Hori is gone. Now, they've lost two tanks. We've lost one. And you could be thinking, yeah, but you're not in the battle. Well, don't forget, I'm a medium. So I've got light armor, to be honest with you, but a really good gun. It made sense for us to go this way and to ignore the heavies. We got rid of their crown wagon. We've got rid of their Hori. Two very important guns. The rest of them now are up there. So we have got to work out who is our prime target. Well, for me, the 57 heavy is a nightmare tank and I'd like to really get rid of him. This is pretty much of a bad shot. As you can see, I hit the ground, but you know, if you don't hit the ground every now and then, then you're not playing blitz. Now we can get into the back of him. I've tried to load the AG, but he turns, so I have to go back to the uh, APCR. Sorry, I, I, I used the heat for some strange and unbeknown reason, um, being a nab, clearly. Um, I should have been just using APCR. I would have got the same penetration, the same shots, and I wouldn't have been using Pramo. But hey, there we go. And I've still got Pramo loaded like an idiot. So that's a word to the wise. Be careful what you've got loaded. I don't need Pramo to take out the Leo. I just... In the heat of battle, I've just forgotten to change the ammunition. And I think I forget completely to change the ammunition throughout this whole battle like a complete Muppet. However, the only reason I came, oh, I came off the 57 was to help my two mate with the Leo back onto the 57, trying to get him out of the game. He's gone. Now I can look at the IS-7, put one into him in his bottom plate. There we go. And again, I'm still using heat because, yeah, in the heat of battle, I'm a complete nutter Muppet. I was trying to shield, by the way, my teammate from the Leo, but um, and I was hoping that the IS-7 was, that my teammate was going to stay a little bit alive, a little bit longer there while I got around the back of the IS-7, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Still going to put the shots in, going to farm the IS-7 a little bit, try and get out of harm's way. It's me against two. The other one is a bat chat who's relatively healthy. I'm going to peel off the IS-7 now, give the bat chat a bit of a bloody nose. I now know he's on his reload because he's just fired all his shots. So that gives me time to finish off the IS-7, which we do. And that now allows us to back off a little bit, use the remaining hit points that we've got, and our armor to push onto the bat chat, try and get him to bounce us. There we go. Now I'm gonna ram him because he's a one shot and I can easily ram him. And that is my thought processes for those two games. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, Remember how to use mediums effectively and stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.